why it stopped raining. It started snowing, but as soon as it started snowing, the that surge of water kind of relieved itself. So now I have my small dam here, which is back to heavy flows. Off that surged flow. So it's nice to see the water kind of subsiding like that a little bit. Thanks to the snow. I'm just on my way out to move these hives from the shed. I just load them up. I'll be heading out to the yard now. It's about time they get out. There's a lot of stress going on. They've been in for, look at the stress. They've been in for over two weeks now, I do believe. I did not really anticipate them being in that long. When I moved them in, I thought I'd be moving them out in about a week. I figured 10 days would be a long time. But here we are, just in that continual cold spell, and they just sat inside, not knowing any different. It'll be interesting to see, I mean, the stress, you can see the stress. And it's, like, I've been feeding them protein inside there with syrup. So, it's no wonder, but I didn't, I didn't anticipate how long I'd be keeping them inside. But now they can join the rest of them outside. The bear of the elements. I can say that I looked after these colonies better than I've looked after those ones. I just don't even know where to begin with those colonies. Today feels like a cold, shitty day, so after I get this load out, maybe I'll try to move some more nukes out, get things moved out today, and finish up tomorrow morning and have everything out to greet that sunshine. And then uh, maybe what I'll do when it starts warming up a little bit. Well, first thing we got to do is get those strips in the colonies. We have to get treatment. We are late on treatments. That has to be done. We are May 1st right now. And there's, we have this load. Oh, that load. And my nukes that have to be treated. So that'll be priority. But maybe what I'll do today in between when I can't move these nukes out of the shed. I think it's too warm when I can't move. Maybe I'll start poking through these flooded out colonies, pull out all the wet ones, and try to identify the salvaged colonies, get them in a the pile so I can move them out to the yards where we can work them. And then medicate them, because they're gonna be sick. And maybe drop some dry frames down the center just to help them out try to reorganize that cluster and maybe have them restart the process. Now these bees, they're, they're tired. They're old. They're cold. They're stressed. They're just, they're just... You know, I'm wondering how these ones are going to make it through the spring, let alone the ones that have been submerged in water. So we'll just see what we can salvage from it and then just take it from there. Back outside now. We'll have to get pails on these girls tomorrow. Gosh, 
calm spot and it's still windy in this yard. It's going to be high winds today, I think. You can see the stress. That might be two things locked up for an extended period of time, but I'm also feeding them protein. So there you go. Got to be careful on that. Boy, I should have maybe brought them all inside. I'm gonna tip one more. There's a little more humbling. That is a three framer. And lots of weight to them though. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so that's putting me in a little better mood for this morning. I was going to get feed onto these colonies this morning, but every one I tip there is heavy enough. So what I'll do is we'll hold off on that till tomorrow. Back to the work day. And as Carrie walks, works through dropping strips, I'll have her follow with pails too. That way I can focus on those flooded hives sort through that mess and I think I'm gonna bring them down here too this is about the only space I have now that yard just to the side boy I'm sure hinging on this guy's property I have a lot of bees just within this couple acres here I'm gonna to have to treat them with more than a few boxes of honey I think big family so I'm sure they can use it but I'm gonna put that yard that drowned on me or whatever it can salvage right back into here nice little cozy spot and then we can look after them maybe Wednesday or maybe Tuesday whenever the Sun comes out we got to work through them when the Sun comes out we gotta we gotta give them a little bit of fresh frames just to be able to regain ground for them so it's gonna be interesting to see how many actually I'm gonna salvage out of that group I think there's more within that yard that probably fell victim to rising waters also maybe like the bottom third of the frames got covered it's hard to tell at that time <clears throat> i just focused on the truckload that was right in the path of the flood waters curse that wind well at least it's not snowing It's been slow going, but I've been able to get through a few colonies now, and it's not so grim as I previously thought it was. I have 24 that are good, well, good enough. A lot of these colonies only flooded down, you know, 
maybe an inch, inch and a half up. Some of them maybe half the box, but it left the rest of the box all right. And the colony's actually drying that nest down already and trying to reestablish their nest. So we will let them do what they do. We'll put them back in the yard and maybe sunshine will help those ones out. These ones over here, they aren't so good. Most of them are drowned probably about an inch headspace here. There's bees still alive in these boxes, but all the comb is just disgusting and gross. Some of these nests have enough bees that they're tucked into the top inch within this box. That they're actually drying their, their cluster again so they can hold their nest properly. And they're actually pulling out dead brood. They're doing everything they're supposed to. Just they have a lot of work ahead of them and it's gonna be very stressful. So these ones we will reassess we're just trying to identify these ones first, reassess, and we'll probably shake these bees into a clean box and just spare them all the misery of having to clean this all out. I have another four here I'm gonna go through. I'm trying to make this as quick as work as I can just to identify the ones that will need to be salvaged and the ones that we can send straight back into the yard. The bees are a little crusty, so I've been using some smoke on them. So you can see the water line here on this frame. It's about two inches down. They look pretty sad. So here's the water line. And that left about two inches for the bees to exist. This is all getting moldy already. The brood is getting moldy. This colony is on the verge of turning gross. So colony like this, I will not leave in this box. It's just going to turn into a great big mold mess. So what I do is I'm going to identify these colonies I put them aside for salvage and we'll take, we'll try to find the queen and we'll shake all these bees into a new fresh nest, new comb, new everything. And this, all this equipment, I think I'm just going to burn it. I don't know how much I want to, how much time I want to put into it. See a frame like that, I might be able to make use of if I can shake the water out of it. Just gross. If we can dry them out, maybe the bees will be able to use them. So we'll just kind of take it as it goes. Give them a shot of medicine. And if one side has been submerged, the other side will have too. So I'm not going to waste my time going down too deep into this one. They look pretty good from the top. I'll just dig down for the sake of my video. And there's the water line already. It's only two inches. All these bees are up within the two inches of this box it's just gross but the bees are alive so i'm going to salvage these bees if we can find the queen and we'll put them into a nuke and i don't know maybe i'll call these my archives because they were literally floating in the bee yard
So this is quite an overwhelming task, I have to say that. And it's something I've never really experienced too much of before, not on this scale anyways. And I had no idea what I was gonna do about it. Very overwhelming. And the same with this one. So the water line is there. So the best thing I can do in this type of situation is just to dig in and kind of form some kind of a game plan. There's the water line. So they have two inches of headspace there. And they just carry on. And then what else am I supposed to do, right? We've got all these bees. I have, what, uh, 16 hives over there that I'm going to salvage maybe into nukes. So I have to come up with some kind of a plan and move ahead move forward whoop oh bees are getting in my suit That's... so here we go they have about two and a half inches there the brood up top here is good it's still emerging those little baby bees are emerging there all this underneath is going to be rotten such a shame Look at all that brood has just gone to waste. All that brood up on top is okay. So we're gonna have to sort through these and just kind of pull out. Look at that, it's already, isn't that gross? You can see the line. That queen's still laying. So these four will be going into my salvage pile. We'll make our decision on exactly what we're going to do with them later. More than likely call out most of this equipment. Put them into a nuke. Start them fresh. And then just see what comes. <laughs> 